Talk about it. Representative Torres. <clears throat> Mr. Commissioner, if I can just think, uh, question some things that I heard this afternoon. And if, if, maybe there's not a response. Maybe as somebody, see people say, I'm just venting. Uh, there was a comment said that we're, that we're far behind. And as, an, as a businessman, if someone told me that in my business, my first question is why? And my second question is how do we fix it? Not how do we spend more money on it, but how do we fix it? Then I heard another a comment that says that we're bleeding public institutions. My next question will come as a businessman, you're bleeding taxpayers. So where do we find the fine balance between the two? Because the taxpayers back home, Mr. Commissioner, are telling me, stop the spending. My background, real simple. Grew up in poverty, we used to go through garbage, to find stuff we could use. So no one can tell me what it means to be poor, because I know. And yet, during that poverty, my mother taught us that education was a priority in our family. And she made sure that we understood that message. Unfortunately, we can't legislate parenting. And despite all that, I got two scholarships, one for $100 and one for 50 And that's all the financial aid I ever got. And I am very proud that even today I have a bachelor's and I have a master's, and I footed the bill. I think if, if people understand that since the 1960s, when the Great Society was, was implemented into our, our society, that government is not the answer to our future. Government is a means by which it was created by our founding fathers to focus on its core mission. The rest comes from the American spirit of independence and hard work and the desire to succeed. Mr. Chairman. And finally... I believe the system can be improved, like you said. I believe if we, have the, if we have the will, we can make it much better. If we have the will to admit what's broken, we have the will to, to <clears throat> continue to fund the changes that are necessary, and I think if we have the will to quit making excuses for poor people, because I'm poor. So was I, sir. Yes, sir. So together, I think we can find a roadmap as you, as you so wish to, I think you said it clearly, to put Texas in the forefront of, of, the, of, of the nation. But it's going to take a lot of people willing to, to make those changes to make it happen. And I'm willing to do that. And, and, and the people back home are telling me the number one thing on their mind is education. They all want a great education system. They really do. But they're also telling me, quit throwing money at something that's not producing the results that they want. So I think together we have a message there for all of us to work with. Thank I you, completely Mr. agree with what you said, sir. Uh, Amen, uh, Representative. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Mr. Thodas, what year did you graduate? In 1973. In 1973. Uh, that was when my <laughs> high school degree. Mr. Uh, Mr. Commissioner. Uh, I don't back, agree when back, I graduated. No, I'm not going to. <laughs> in, in, in the 70s, how much of uh, the higher ed bill was being paid for by the state? I think uh, I think in the 1970s uh, the, the national average was about 70 percent, 71, 72 percent. And if, what a, if, a, if a student went to a public institution, the state bore about 70 percent of the cost. What is it today? It's about 35 percent. Yeah. And See, th this is the uh, this is. The but let me make a correction. I, I love the story. Uh, it is. It is. We have fundamentally changed how we finance universities. We have moved the public assistance from uh, going directly to the universities in a stream that was blind to the students. Now, their, their bill was indirectly subsidized because we channeled the funds directly to the universities. Today, we want our universities to act more enterprising, and we have changed financing so that you know, UT today, I believe, are their, their portion of their budget coming from the state is like 12%, somewhere in that ballpark. The student has picked up the slack. And so, um, you know, 
let's just recognize we are asking students to do a whole lot more than we ever have. They are today not just going to college, but they are working and going to college. And with this budget, we are about to break their back. 